This city sure has a lot of books. I'm not really too crazy about reading, and I have a hard time sleeping in this place. Yeah, you seem like you're too jittery to sit still and look at something for too long. You're one to talk. Hey, what happened to Estelle? She's been over there reading books ever since we got here. Hmm. Estelle, time to get going. Hmm. When she starts reading, you can't pull her away. Huh? Did you say something? This seems to be literature from an ancient civilization. She's not even listening. Keep out. Seriously. Mordio. I guess this is the place. I think people usually try knocking first. Looks like no one's home. What should we do? No point in hesitating when you're heading into a den of thieves. No, I don't want us to commit any more crimes. I guess that means it's my turn then. What? Your turn? We shouldn't do that either. Nothing to it. Wait for me! Please, wait. Why does he always do that? <sighs> this is crazy. Who could live in a place like this? You can pretty much live anywhere you can eat and sleep if you set your mind to it. Yuri, don't you have something to say first? Uh, hello, we're coming in. And the door? Carol here, open your door. Sorry about that. Honestly, Yuri, excuse us. Is anyone home? It's a good thing no one's here. That means we get to look for evidence.
Shut up. Huh? Hey, hold on! Thieves? No, what are you... Wait! Be gone! Help! <coughs> uh, why me? A girl? If you can pull tricks like that, why'd you bother skipping town back in Zafius? Huh? Skipping town? Why would I need to skip town? For stealing the core of Ablastia from the lower quarter in the capital. What else? What? You're calling me a thief. Have you ever heard of common sense? Sure. So you break into a home, call the owner a thief, and wave a sword in their face. What the hell kind of sense is that? Hey, dog! You stay back, you... you dog! And you, kid, give him back. What do you mean? The Blastia, the Blastia, give him back to me! What's with you? My name is Esteliz. We're terribly sorry for barging in on you like this. Yuri, Carol, you too. Sorry. So, what do you want? Well, you see, Yuri has followed a Blastia thief here all the way from the Imperial capital. And? And that Blastia thief wore a cape, was short, and their name was Mordio. So? Hmm. Well, Mordio is certainly my name. Read a Mordio to be exact. And the height matches up too! What do you have to say for yourself? I told you, I have no idea what you're... Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Follow me. What? Maybe you didn't hear me. We're not finished here. Just follow me, would you? There's talk that some thieves have turned up in the Shykos ruins. Thieves? Are you sure about that? It came from an Imperial Knight who asked me for help. It should be trustworthy. Do you think that knight might have been Flynn? It's gotta be. Looks like she shot him down, though. Hey, remember what that guy outside said about someone vandalizing the ruins? Which means the thief who stole the Blastia Corps could be there. Hmm, maybe. Finished chatting? Let's go. All right, but don't even think of making a break for it. You don't have to come. If you want, I'll just call the guards. Why don't we give it a try? It sounds like Flynn might even be there. It's up to you. Go to jail, make a run for it, or follow me. Pick one. Okay, okay. We'll go with you. The Shykos ruins are even further to the east, once you leave the city. Rita's a little scary, huh? Really? She's about what I'd expect. Seems like she's in a crappy mood, too. That's because you broke into her house, Yuri. I don't exactly feel like being on my best behavior when I'm dealing with a core thief. What will you do if you're wrong about her? If I'm wrong, I'll apologize. You'd better remember that when the time comes. Oh, were you listening? I just happened to overhear. So you think I'm scary, do you? Watch it, Carol. She's definitely the kind to hold a grudge. Hey! D don't scare me like that! Your name is Esteliz, right? 
Yes, but that's kind of long to say easily. Please call me Estelle. You look like some fancy noble, Estelise. Why are you with that jerk? Oh, I think that Yuri is a good person. And really, I don't mind if you call me Estelle. All right, Estelise. She's tough. was easy.
These are the Shikos ruins. It looks like there aren't any Imperial Knights around. <laughs> These footprints are still fresh. There's a lot of them too. Which means it's either the knights, the thieves, or both. Some of these footprints must be Flynn's. Could be. Hey, over here, hurry up! I see. So first you get us alone in the dark, then you zap us, huh? Hmm, zap. I like the way that sounds. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Why are you smiling like that? Let's try to get along now, okay? Looks like no one's here. No Imperial Knights, Thieves, or anyone else. Maybe they're further in? How far in are we talking here? It doesn't look like anyone's been here, does it? The information about the Underground couldn't have gotten out, could it? The Underground? Recently, an entrance to an Underground area was uncovered here. A handful of mages are supposed to be the only people who know about it. But it's okay for us to know this? I don't have much choice if I'm to clear my name, do I? Clear your name, huh? The ground is scratched here. It's not like I would have minded letting the thieves have the ruins above ground after we finished the excavation. But it's a good thing we came here when we did. Well then, we'd better hurry up and follow them. All we have to do is move this? Come on, you have to put your shoulder into it. Um, right. Huh? Come on, just a little more. Carol, are you okay? Sure, yeah, that was a cinch. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is my first time going inside ruins. Be careful over there, it's slippery. What are you looking at? I was just surprised. You're actually a nice person. I knew it would be a pain to bring you along. I should have just come by myself. Do you always come to research these ruins alone? Yeah. Aren't you afraid you'll get hurt by monsters or traps? There are always risks if you're trying to actually do something. If someone gets hurt, it's an acceptable loss. Even if you're the one who gets hurt? Yeah. Don't you ever worry or hesitate? Worrying about getting what you want without anyone getting hurt? You've had a pretty easy life. An easy life. And Blastia will never betray me, so they're easy to deal with.
Kate is amazing. She just comes right out and says what she has to say. She knows exactly what's important to her. I wish I knew what was important to me. Just travel around for a while. You'll figure it out. These ruins feel very different once you're inside them. Yeah, it's weird. And there's all this stuff I've never seen before. What, is this your first time too, Carol? Well, yeah. My specialty's monster hunting. Hey, what do you think this is? You really shouldn't be fooling around over there. This place is loaded with traps. Did anyone else just hear a click? Carol, watch out! Ah! Sorry, I thought you were about to get killed. I overdid it. I think I would have been better off getting caught in the trap. Don't get sloppy! This little one is no good. Wow. So this is what Blastia look like before they're excavated. I wonder why ancient people buried Blastia in ruins like this in the first place. I wish I could tell you. That's something else being researched. With all these Blastia here, I don't suppose there are any Aqua Blastia lying around too. None of them have cores in them. Really? Then they don't work, do they? Blastia aren't excavated with the cores and the bodies together. Cores produce magic through formulas. Bodies control that magic. The two combined are referred to as Blastia. Each Blastia possesses different attributes, and is marked by a crest that indicates those attributes. With current technology, Blastia bodies can be manufactured, but the production of Blastia cores is impossible. So basically, cores are very valuable since they have to be excavated. It's only natural that thieves would want to steal them. That's not quite true. It seems Estelise's information is a little outdated. What's outdated about it? There's some degradation of quality, but there's been some success in the synthesis of simple Blastia cores. Really? That's why I wouldn't do anything stupid, like go stealing people's cores. If I had time to waste doing things like that, I'd rather be spending it researching better ways to completely restore incomplete or degraded cores. That's what being a mage is all about. A noble creed, but that doesn't clear your name. Yes, talk is cheap, I suppose. Perhaps there are still some Blastia left that can be used. This one's still got a core in it! Here, try shooting this at the core. This ring set with something that looks just like a Blastia core. Glyph crystallization of a formula allows this Blastia to emit air as needed. That's not quite the best way to put it. It's actually used to charge other Blastia with air. But wait, how did you know that? In the castle, I read that the ring acts as a kind of key in ancient ruins. Castle? 
So all I do is point? Just aim the sorcerer's ring at the core of that Blastia. Face your target and shoot. There's a limit to its range, though. Go on, try it. That's all it takes. That's a strim crest. It's a mark that indicates movement. Huh. Interesting. Sentinel for taking care of unwanted guests. Okay then, keep your eyes open and let's keep moving. Are you sure? What if I'm just luring you deeper into the ruins so I can zap you? I'm starting to think I'd rather try my luck with the golem. Here, you take it. Isn't this thing important or something? We'll need to use it a few more times. Okay, I guess I'd better hold it since I'm leading the way. I wonder if people a long time ago used little rings like this to move things around. Yes, items like this have been discovered in other ruins as well. It sure is useful for something so small. Yeah, unlike some people I could name. Huh? It's impressive that you've been entrusted with a sorcerer's ring, Rita. I've heard they're only given to a very small number of people. Huh, <laughs> guess someone trusts you. You're the only one who doesn't. Make you work! Like they've messed up our order. Let's take them down. Sorry if I hurt you. Think you can beat us with an ambush? <laughs> Monsters don't think. Scary! I didn't expect to be ambushed from behind like that. Well, I guess we just can't ever let our guard down where there are monsters about. If they attack from the rear, any of us could get pulled into battle. Right. Let's be careful and hope that doesn't happen again. Hmm. This only happens with a preemptive attack. Preemptive attacks, huh? What? You guys! It's back! Hit it with what I gave you just now! Huh? You mean with this? Do it now! We have a great opening now! Alright, let's go! You didn't think I was that strong, did you? I get it now, so that's how it works. I didn't know it could be used like that, too. Right, let's get a move on. Hey, didn't you say something about the castle not too long ago? Oh? Yes, well, you see... Yeah, I was in the castle a while back. I used to be a knight. You? A knight? Please, how gullible do you think I am? Believe it or not, it's true. Will wonders never cease? Is it really so hard for everyone to believe that? Come on, let's go. Hey, they changed the subject on me. <laughs> this is awesome! <laughs> A flickering blade <laughs> burn! 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 Sharpness! <laughs> We're din of this modest land! <laughs> Star <Stop! laughs> Yes! Were you fighting?
exciting, cause I felt Guess we can do this. Drag it over! Oh, you didn't know this part is planned! Drag it over! Pickering plays first! Yeah. yeah, I beat you into next week. Hey, I learned something. I feel this power inside! to fighting for someone who's been doing research in Ospio for so long. I'm just used to using magic, and I've been working to cultivate a calm mind. A calm mind, huh? Is there something wrong with that? Ooh, ouch! Sorry, I thought you were a monster. Ugh, I'll startle you someday. You just wait.
Yeah, I beat you into next. Oh, 